Because one of the biggest misconceptions musicians have about merchandise is that they think about it like any other product, or even worse, like it obeys the rules of music marketing itself. But music merchandising has its own rules, and the weirdest thing we see in this day and age compared to days before is you can see music artists where their merch is doing a lot of converting new fans as they become a fashion brand people who are barely fond of their music will don just because the fits look good and it ends up spreading the word about the artist's music and funding their musical endeavor. But whether you have zero or 10,000 fans and want to sell merch to them, let's remember that one, merch is a walking or standing advertisement for you that shows that a person endorses you. So if someone is willing to wear or display that merch in their social media or walking down the street, it's getting more people to see you as someone they should know about. Selling merch and doing what you can to make sure people get their hands on it is one of the best and easiest ways to get the word out about your music. And the extra effort is often rewarded with that. And you get the reward of money, which let's be honest, isn't always the case when you're putting out music. Merch is also one of the more lucrative ways to fund your music, and it definitely beats streams. So enabling it to fund you is crucial. But the second misconception is the myth that merch costs tons of money to make, which is an obsolete idea now that POD, aka print-on-demand technology, has made it so that you, all you have to do is upload a design and you can begin to get paid for what you do with no money down. So don't get it all worked up that it's going to cost you tons of money down, since the only upfront cost is making a good design, which many people can do the themselves. And here's the thing, we live in a society that is shallow as and as evidenced by the 10 million memes that exist in this world that mock that people wear merch of artists they don't even know, well, that's a thing. The fact is, merch is both a virtue signal, meaning that fans will wear it to show others they love the music and they're part of the culture around this design, and they want to meet other people who do, even if they don't know three songs from the artist. And you know, this is the guy who has tattoos of his favorite musicians and documentaries tattooed prominently on his body, because I want to make sure no one who loves the 1975 can ever miss out on the chance to hear me go incessantly on and on about them at a bar. But while merch can be signaling you're a part of a club, a lot of people are trying to just look cool. And this is good news for you, even when you're an unknown artist. Since if you make great designs, you can sell merch even when people have yet to become super fond of your music and may even think it's borderline trash. And I say this as someone who's run merch lines that have sold hundreds of thousands of items. I mean, there's even articles written about merch lines of bands I've managed. Here's the weirdest thing though, is one of the weird things people say about modern musicians is, they're more of a merch line than a band. Well, that's because if your merch game is good, well, a lot of people will wear it despite the fact that they may not be enthused about your music. I mean, let's go back to the 1975. They're my favorite band. I have a tattoo of them. And I, I don't wear their merch much, despite this uh, video, because I don't love the band's designs. But if they did better ones, I'd wear more. But I wear tons of merch from this band, Honey, whose hat I wear in every video, who I don't love as much as the 1975, but they have great designs. So here's the funny thing musicians do, and you should really listen right now, because this is a concept that will help you a lot in life if you recognize and fight against it. So there's this study called Dunning-Kruger, and it basically says that when you're a dumbass, you think everything looks easy, and even though you haven't studied a subject much, you feel like you got it figured out already. But when you're super smart, you realize that people can be experts to such minute detail, all sorts of small subjects, and it's important to talk to experts. So I'm gonna tell you a bunch of knowledge I know as someone who has literally run merch companies that have sold hundreds of thousands of shirts. And when I talk to so many of you, you think this stuff obviously must not apply to your genre, or you think you clearly know better because, well, you're part of that dumbass equation in the Dunning-Kruger thing. But I'm here to tell you, I know this because I've worked in it for well over a decade and had a lot of success selling hundreds of thousands of units. So please listen the fuck up. So let's first talk about the number one way to sell a bunch of merch, even when you have a few fans. Just as a great song is the best marketing tool that makes all your marketing go easier, a great merch design does the same. In fact, there's nothing that beats a great merch concept at moving units. But so many musicians either put no effort in designs or think trying hard is for losers or really can't be troubled to put much thought into it. But here's the reality. If you're out playing shows or people see your merch and it looks good, more people will buy it. Just remember, every time you're selling one, you're selling an advertisement for someone else to buy it. But if you just go in MS Paint and do the Comic Sans, it's not gonna work out well. You need to research what the rest of your community does and put out quality merchandise that matches it or really exceeds with 
other people are doing. And this is often by doing tons of drafts and working on ideas and designs and studying other people until you've really latched in and figured out what your audience would want to see from you and giving them sick designs that they would want to wear. I'm going to be frank, that can often mean drafting 10, 20, or even 50 ideas before you have one that's really going to do numbers. I should say this, there's room for cheaper merch. If a lot of your fans are poor or teenagers, well, having a low ticket item that isn't on the best blanks can really help your sales. So not every piece of merch needs to be your piece de resistance of art. But there are some things that do help sales a lot. One, using good blanks, which if there are just blank shirts, if you don't know what I mean, or whatever type of merch you're selling. You know, brands like Canvas or the good quality Gildan ones, or any of those that started to knock off the American apparel style. You will be sure to have more people buy it since music fans buy a lot and take note of the higher quality stuff that looks better on their stories when they're trying to make that e-girl fall in love with them. It's not gonna happen. And two, making the design a real banger that looks really good, and here's what I mean. Like I said, one of Trick's Point Never aren't even in the top 50 of my favorite ours, but when I saw this fit, I had to cop it because it looks amazing. Dua Lipa is great, but I would wear 20 more Charlie XCX shirts before hers, but let's be honest, this is a look. And the Spice Girls really only have two great songs, but when I saw this bootleg that matched up Choking Victim's classic record cover for No Gods No Managers, and the Spice Girls, well, I had to have it, thereby proving my point. Shallow people like me who care about looking cool will buy your merch if the design is sick, even if you're not their favorite band. So think about what you would think is sick and make designs around it. But that is a perfect time to take a quick break before the next tip and teach you about a tool where you can actually sell merch directly from your link in bio and where you can easily and quickly create and sell digital merch for your fans. Koji is the first e-commerce platform purpose-built for social media with tons of apps for selling products digital and physical to your fans. Koji is totally free to use and customize, and you could be selling merch in minutes. No website or Shopify type platform needed. For physical merch, I'd recommend Koji's sell physical products feature. Just add an image, description, or price, and boom, you've got a merch store in your link in bio. It works best with non-sized merch like hats, posters, pins, stickers, signed photos. You get the idea. But don't stop at physical merch. Use Koji's sell digital products feature to add digital merch items for your fans as well. The possibilities here are limitless. You can sell digital VIP packages, printable album art and posters, printable sheet music, desktop and phone backgrounds, songbooks, album liner notes, ebooks about literally anything, your journey as an artist, for example, or short PDF guides to teach fans and aspiring musicians the things you've learned along the way. You can easily make a lot of these items in Canva or even repurpose some of your existing artwork and designs for people to buy, download, and print at home. Koji also makes it easy for musicians to sell lots of other stuff too, like bonus audio tracks, live recordings, or sample packs with their locked audio feature, or sell photos and videos to your super fans with Koji's locked photo or locked video features. You can even sell custom video or audio to your fans with shout out or audio inbox, just like Cameo, right from your link in bio. Trust me, you need to jump on Koji. You'll thank me later. So head to the description or to withkoji.com. That's W I T H K O J I.com. But really, click my link in the description or start selling with Koji today. It's easy, and it comes with the world's most powerful link in bio for musicians built right in. Literally, what are you waiting for? Okay, so let's say you solved the first part of this problem. You got some great looking merch. And I can't impress upon you enough, since I know some of you think you know it all, and this what I'm about to say is not going to make a difference, but trust me, I have seen it. Putting a good looking person in your merch and photographing it hanging on them in a way that gets people horned up sells more merch than anything aside from a great design on a great bike. When people can envision themselves looking that good, even if they look nothing like that model, it sells more merch and that tiny bit of effort to take a picture of someone in that merch truly improves sales sometimes between 10 to 50% in my experience. And I'm not kidding you. I've literally taken two hours to switch merch stores over to IRL photos from mockups and watch the money machine go. Okay, so then the next thing we need to do though is acknowledge that there's like so many people competing for your customer's dollars. There's regular fashion brands, and then there's other artists. Hell, even meme accounts 
are making fire merch and I buy a ton of it. So one way to try to encourage people to buy more of your merch is to make it scarce. Meaning use what the kids call drops and only make the merch available for a short time. So for example, you could advertise a drop happening and say things are only going to be for sale for a week or less. Now the trick here is you can then move some of the best performing designs to your main store with where you permanently sell them and the designs that didn't do so well can get retired or even brought back later. But doing drops creates the feeling of missing out. So people are more prone to act fast and buy your merch now instead of thinking about the decision because they know that decision may be made for them when your merch goes away. Okay, so but after we got good looking merch, we know how to create demand and pictures of it. Where do you sell it? I truly feel Shopify is the best option. And I've explained why in a previous video, but let me go deeper since this video is about selling more merch. And here's the funny thing, while there are a lot of details to upping your merch game, the best news I tell every musician is there's a lot of terrible things about being a musician today, but the best news is that there's often a tool that can get their jobs done simply and effectively and require far less effort than just five years ago, never mind 20 years ago. If you work smart, you can work less hours, and that's exactly what Shopify enables. Shopify has really good integrations with Printify and Printful, where you don't have to pay for any merch up front and can do print-on-demand designs. What I really love about them is as integrations with Spotify and YouTube, so while people are enjoying your music and are most likely to be the people who are going to actually want to buy your merch, they can see it on your Spotify on your YouTube if you enable it and have it right there staring them down while they're enjoying your music when they can see your sick fits that you have available for them to show everyone how much they love your music and the emotion they're feeling right now. And no other merch platform can do that. Since a visibility is a lot of selling merch, that makes your merch visible and it's really easy to do. And as I explained in my video on Shopify, I actually think it's the best platform to build a musician's website, which also saves you that money for not having to build a separate website. But the other reason I love Shopify is they really make it so much easier to sell more merch. Since they have easy to use integrations to email people who abandon their cart or email to customers who've already bought from you or retarget with ads to people who've come to your site. Now I know some of you don't believe me that email is the most effective way to sell merch, but yet again, I'm someone who's done this before, and I can tell you no matter what your genre or demographic your fans are in, email sells merch. So I want you to repeat after me and realize you don't know what you're talking about if you don't think that's true, since everyone I know agrees about this. Going hard on emails to sell merch is one of the most effective ways you can sell it. And truly, getting emails that shows of people who are enthused about you or in exchange for rare tracks from your most dedicated fans where you give away an alternate version of them and a download in exchange for an email gets you emails where you can show those fans who most love you what you have to sell and how they could support you is how you sell a lot of merch and truly after everything else is in place there is no more effective way to sell more merch than those people who are passionate enough to give you your email and sending them a picture that looks good of your merch so here's the thing you should now watch my video on shopify so you get the whole picture which is this video right here so make sure you watch that next if you really want to level up